15 World's Most Dangerous Plants From a house plant that will make you drool like an idiot, to leaves and seeds that can straight up end you, here's 15 of the world's most dangerous plants. Number 15. Dumb Cane Its attractive, simple appearance and tolerance of shade makes dumb cane a popular house plant. Eating this plant's leaves can cause mild but very unpleasant symptoms like intense numbing, oral irritation, and excessive drooling, hence its nickname. So why would anyone in their right mind eat this plant? Not many really do. 70% of those with recorded exposures are children under the age of 5. Number 14. Deadly Nightshade Though it's in the same family as potatoes, eggplant, and tomatoes, the Atropa belladonna, or deadly nightshade, should never be in your picnic basket. That's because its berries and foliage are absurdly toxic. It's been used for hundreds, heck, even thousands of years. Ancient Romans used it to make poison-tipped arrows. Women used to put the herb in eye drops to dilate their pupils, making them appear more seductive. Most historians feel that Claudius was murdered by his own wife, who used a poison derived from deadly nightshade to do the infamous deed. Like jimson weed, people use this plant for its hallucinogenic properties. Though unlike Hell's Bells, these hallucinations are consistently described as both unpleasant and, obviously, dangerous. Long story short, it's a good idea to get to remember what this plant looks like and avoid it. Number 13. Wolfsbane. Wolfsbane produces a deadly toxin that, when ingested in large enough quantities, produces symptoms instantly. They include vomiting and diarrhea, followed by burning in the face and abdomen. When a dose is meant to poison someone, its desired effects usually occur within hours. If taken in large enough quantities, fatality can be instantaneous. People have known about wolfsbane and its dangerous properties for a very long time. Greek mythology is full of gods attempting to kill each other with wolfsbane. More recently, a gardener in England passed away after brushing against the deadly plant, which shows just how toxic wolfsbane truly can be. Number 12. The Suicide Tree Officially given the name Cerbera odolum, this deadly plant is native to India, where it's often used for both suicide and murder. Between 1989 and 1999, there were more than 500 cases of fatal Cerbera poisoning in the southwest Indian state of Kerala alone. Its fruit looks like a mango and surrounds an ovoid kernel. Just one of those kernels can be fatal to humans. They contain the toxin Cerberin, which is difficult to detect in autopsies and easy to mask in concoctions, hence its use in murders and suicides. A fatal dose leads to death within two days. Before this, someone afflicted would go through violent vomiting, headaches, and an irregular heartbeat. Number 11. Doll's Eyes A lot of these plants look totally harmless and normal while actually being potentially fatal. Not the Doll's Eyes plants. Its fruit looks like, you guessed it, Doll's Eyes, and not in a fun, playful way. If you were to eat one of those faux eyes, though why would you? It would not be a fun experience. The berries, along with the entire plant, are very poisonous. It contains cardiogenic toxins, which can lead to cardiac arrest and death. It grows up and down eastern North America and the midwestern United States. Number 10. Jimson Weed Also known as Devil's Snare, or Hell's Bells, this plant has been used for centuries in traditional medicine to relieve asthma and as a pain reliever when setting bones or during surgery. Recreationally, people take advantage of its powerful hallucinogenic properties, specifically the intense visions that consumption produces. If taken in excess or even in slightly higher amount than a typical medical dosage, jimson weed can lead to insane behavior, hospitalization, and even death. Number 9. English Yew Most parts of the English Yew, a conifer native to Europe as well as regions of Africa and Asia, are toxic. Fatal poisonings in humans are rare, though yew poisoning can lead to muscle tremors, convulsions, collapse, difficulty breathing, and, if left untreated, cardiac arrest. Yews are known for their longevity, with the ability to last for hundreds and even thousands of years. The Estuary Yew in Normandy is an estimated 1,600 years old, while the Fortingale Yew in Scotland is estimated to be between 2,000 and 3,000 years old. Number 8. Giant Hogweed The sap of giant hogweed is brutal to humans. It causes Lyme disease when skin at contacts is exposed to the sun. Initially, your skin becomes red and itchy. Blisters appear within two days. Eventually, big, ugly, black or purplish scars form that can last for years. The effects can be so nasty that some afflicted have to be taken to the hospital. While they're native to Central Asia and the Caucasus region, they spread starting in the 19th century to Europe, the United States, and Canada. Number 7. Castor Oil Plant The seed this plant produces is incredibly useful, called the castor bean, despite not being a bean, which is weird, but whatever. It's often used to make necklaces and bracelets. The bean is also used to make castor oil, which is an effective motor lubricant, especially in internal combustion and two-stroke engines. Castor oil is used in manufacturing all kinds of things from soaps to plastics to perfumes. However, the bean also contains ricin, a highly toxic protein. A dose of pure ricin powder the size of a few grains of salt is enough to kill an adult human being. If left untreated, death will occur in no more than five days. 
Poisoning only happens when an animal or person ingests broken seeds because whole seeds can pass through the digestive tract without releasing the toxin. Number six, white snake root. Remarkably, this dangerous plant has had a huge effect on the history of human beings, specifically European immigrants who migrated through North America in the early 19th century. You see, this plant, which grows throughout the Midwest and upper south of North America, contains the toxin Tremetol. When consumed by cattle, their meat and milk become contaminated with Tremetol. So when humans eat that meat or drink that milk, they can in turn become poison. Thousands of those immigrants who hadn't been exposed to white snake root died of milk sickness when they first settled in the plant's native areas. Most notably, Nancy Hanks Lincoln, the mother of Abraham Lincoln. Number five, manchineal. Its leaves, and more importantly, fruit, resemble that of an apple tree. This is very important to know because the fruit of the manchineal is very poisonous. As a matter of fact, all parts of the tree contain toxins, some of which remain unidentified. If someone were to stand under the tree while it was raining, their skin would blister, which is probably why people put this warning sign on this manchineal in Florida. Burning the tree could cause ocular injuries if any smoke were to blow into someone's eyes. When you eat a manchineal apple, which is referred to as the little apple of death, you won't realize it first because it has a pleasantly sweet taste, but it won't take long before a peppery feeling begins to take over. That leads to a burning, tearing sensation and tightness in the throat. Yikes. Number four, angel's trumpets. All parts of these flowering plants, also called Brugmansia, are dangerous, but it's the seeds and leaves that you really have to avoid. Despite their dangerous nature, angel's trumpets have some pretty incredible medical benefits. They have anti-asthmatic, anti-cholinergic, narcotic, and anesthetic properties. Indigenous South American cultures often use Brugmansia in medical preparations and during spiritual ceremonies. There are seven species of Brugmansia, all of which are considered extinct in the wild. Today, they are most commonly grown as a flowering, ornamental plant. Number three, oleander. Amongst common garden plants, oleander is one of the most poisonous. A vigorous grower in warm, subtropical regions, you can find it as an ornamental plant practically everywhere in private gardens, parks, and along roads. Oleander is considered poisonous, though only a few events have been recorded involving humans, and you would have to consume a lot of it to have any ill effects. Number two, water hemlock. Water hemlock grows in temperate regions around the Northern Hemisphere. It's extremely poisonous to humans, so, of course, it bears a striking resemblance and is easy to confuse with a number of edible, harmless plants. It contains a toxin that, when ingested, affects the central nervous system and causes seizures. Fatalities from eating the plant have been reported from as far back as 1670 and continue to this day. I guess there's a lot more to watch out for on a hike than poison oak. Thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Number one, Jaquirity. This invasive plant can be a pest. In certain regions like the Caribbean islands and Florida, it presents problems as it's difficult to remove while it also grows aggressively. Of course, it wouldn't be on this list if it wasn't in some way dangerous to humans. Its seeds are what make this plant deadly, but also useful. They act as beads and percussion instruments, but they also contain abrin, a toxic substance similar to ricin found in doll's eyes, except much more potent. Eating just a single seed, well chewed, can be fatal, even to a full-grown adult human being.